you, Jesus. Whatever you face this week, forward still. <laughs> Whatever mountains come in your way, forward still. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whatever, if you walk out to walk, forward still. Yeah, 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 yeah. Disappointment come, forward still. Yeah, 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 yeah. Woo. And if another pastor fall, forward still. I'm telling the pastor we are follow. We are being with pastor, but we are follow Jesus. Forward still. Young people, walk holy, walk holy, make the right decisions, walk right, walk holy, Ramandosia, Rakanda Rabasia, and Rabasha, walk holy, forward sail, it's Jehovah's will, though the below. Dr. Brown's Arthritis Remedy and Joint Oil Pain Relieves Muscular and Joint Aches Arthritis, Sciatica, Headaches, Menstrual Cramps, Foot Pain and is also a great sleep aid Manufactured by Jamaican scientist Everton Brown PhD from a blend of Jamaican herbs Shop www.jamsweet.com or call us at 813-679-0106 do you have a family member that needs care? Do you have a family member that needs protection? Call us today at Heart to Heart Home Nursing Home, located in Portmore, Jamaica. We specialize in home care and we do everything nursing. Call 1-876-465-4063. one 876 Four six five four zero six three. That is heart to heart nursing home. We've been listening to you. We definitely been listening to you. So we got to do this just for you. It's Pain House Record presents the man himself, Redeem, talking about one of the baddest, one of the best uprising artists right now. Keys for the Cage Mind. With songs like Deception. Peculiar people. Every morning when we rise up down at the river, we'll a swim. If you do not have no river, find yourself down at the spring. And you hear no one fit all before you. And a brand new single. This one's called This Is Too Redeem Much. Say no more, this too much. Hey, redeem say no more, this too much. Poverty lie in the long bend till you walk. We garrison here, yeah, them one fix up. Talking about Redeem, one of the fastest rising artists right now. Hey, you can find him on all social media platforms IG, Facebook. 
TikTok. It's Redeem Official. Or look him up right here on YouTube. It's Redeem Official Vivo. Hey, talking about good music, talking about authentic music, is right here. It's Redeem. It's a Pain House production. Why you want wipe us from Jaja Earth? But for whatever lies were earth. Hey, Babylon, I have seen you were earth. Babylon, me see your dirty were earth. Babylon, redeem, still see you were earth. Uno say, uno disease, a fake young baby, a fake pregnant woman, and the elderly. People pause a minute and listen to me. This was well thought of and planned carefully. When you kill the baby, there is no future for we. Population that you kill pregnant lady. Knowledge can pass and you kill the elderly. Where there is no brain, how are you rule mentally? Good night, good night, good night, good night to everyone near and far. Are you hearing me, Jamaica? I'm sure you're hearing me now. I'm sure you're hearing me now. Are you hearing me now? Okay. Today was a festive day. Today was certainly a sad moment. Mm. Today was a festive day, Jamaica. Uh, it was a day where a lot of people had court proceedings. Um, quite a few things happened over the week, as you can see. Uh, one for sure is that there was a major accident this morning on the Portmore Toll Road. Did you guys see that accident? I think the producer should show the... I think the producer should show the accident. Mm -hmm. Let you people see the, it was, I'm glad no lives were lost. No lives were lost, students, but. Oh, 
Students, I don't know about you, but I find it very odd that one tire being blown out or one tire blown out and you reach over in the the bushes. One tire blown out and you reach over in the bushes. I find that very strange. What and the worst part of it, the bus was overloaded with 36 people. <coughs> Right? So unless you are speeding or unless you're going, that, it would have had to be speeding for you to reach. It's reckless driving. Why reach around there, over there soon? This is what happened to you. Mm, nobody with the Holy Pass sign us on the show in Jesus' name. Good night, viewers. Mm -hmm. I'm Sam but I'm Jamaica. So what I am saying, students, I find it very odd that almost 35, him don't smoke, Jeffrey, him don't smoke, so don't come accuse him of smoking. <laughs> him don't smoke. Tell him, Andre. No, him don't smoke. So Jeffrey, don't accuse him of smoking. So when I see the state of how that bus ended up over there, I said to myself, something is wrong, man. Something certainly is wrong. So the speeding plus the tire plus almost 40 people in the one coaster bus, that's why I reach over there. That's what happened. It looked like reckless driving, don't it, students? Speeding, overloading, and bad tire. And I said to myself, so something surely would have made that bus reach over there. So. It's probably somebody. Hello, good night. <laughs> Yes, Nicholas. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. I'm going to explain something to you uh, on the basis of the incident. Mm -hmm. All right. Nothing more than the driver I come in, in our speed. All right. So when you have, uh, you have tubeless, you have tubeless and you have tube. It's a tubeless tire. You see when you're driving on the, on the vehicle puncher and it's a tubeless, mm -hmm. it's okay. But when you're driving, when you're driving a bus with, with tube and reliner, and it point and it and it bus and you have the 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 bus bus load the passenger or whatever and the speed where you are coming from five foot. It's a possibility when when it when it bus the driver might be panic. Yeah, panic might be catching and one vehicle might be there in front time where him no one lick and him sway and go over to the to the banking. It can be that possibility as well. You understand? Sometimes, sometimes we are dry panic, catch it, mm -hmm. and, we, and we start think all type of man of evil. And then when you go look, you go see one vehicle or one truck in front of you, you say, no, you see me, you rather go left and try whatever. But you can go both ways, you can speed and whatever, but them say tire puncher in which is a possibility. Because you have true best and you have true tire. All right. Thank you for that information. All right. Mm -hmm. Tube, bless our tube, but in a my estimation, the truth be told, students, that look like overload plus speed. That's why I'm end up over there. So, this is what Mr. Marsh has said now. Good night, Mr. Marsh. Uh, good night. Uh, uh, listen, TV News. Uh -huh. Gary McKenzie from the police department, mm -hmm. I don't remember his rank. He said there was no blown out tire. Oh. Yeah, no blown out tire. That's what he said. 
So I'm saying there's no blown out tire. Yeah, he said no, no blown out tire. Nothing like that. TVJ News, he said it not too long ago. Okay, thank you for that information, Mr. Man. No problem. God bless you. Mm -hmm. So students, you see the news today that O.J. Simpson, remember that famous man who got off the, the famous footballer in the United States who got off the murder scenes, the killing of his, I think his wife. You remember the O.J. Simpson case? It was a popular, remember the footballer who cleared up the double murder? He died today at 8.76. He had cancer, not sure what kind of cancer, but I, I believe it is prostate cancer. He died today of cancer, students. He's no longer with us. May his soul rest in peace. Yes, students. May his soul rest in peace. Mm -hmm. So he's no longer with us, O.J. Simpson. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't really know of the case then because it's a long time, Nicole, as you say. I would have been a baby when OJ Simpson commit those murders. How long ago he committed those murders? But he got off the cases, no, sir? Mm -hmm. Yes, so he's no longer. But he's dead. Rest in peace, OJ Simpson. And I hope you see your God. Mm -hmm. I hope you see your God. <laughs> students 29 years see 29 years ago i would have been about two years old still in baby state i don't know yes lisa i'm 32 i wouldn't really know about the oj simpson case i would have been a baby 94 me by 91 i would be a baby who didn't know nothing much about them case there me have four or three them time there. I wouldn't know much about the case. Don't it? Mm -hmm. I didn't know how much about the case. So I don't know about the thing that... Um, Tyen, big up on your birthday, Tyen. Tyen is Auntie Claudette's first daughter. Tyen, the one that I put up. Big up on your birthday, Tyen. I hope you enjoy your birthday with mommy. I hope you enjoy your birthday. I look like 27 is the blessings of the Lord on me. The blessings of the Lord. The blessings of the Lord showing on me, don't it? Beautiful and gracious God. <laughs> But he was found innocent as stated by the people. He never killed no one. He was found innocent. So I must say O.J. Simpson was innocent, according to the court. Don't it? Mm -hmm. Today, students, former member of parliament, former member of parliament for... Western St. Mary Joyland Silvera reappeared to court today. You hear what I said to you? Former member of parliament, Joyland Silvera, went to court today. Play the, mm -hmm. Play the video with his attorney, please. Play the video with his attorney. Please and thank you. Application was not made today. It has been deferred until the 2nd of May. Uh, this year. Uh, the reasons for that I would not want to go into, but just to indicate that there are some additional documents that are outstanding that will be pertinent to the application. And so the matter is fixed for the 2nd of May when it will be heard in terms of an application for bail. Now, besides bail, what else is supposed to happen on that day? Just the application? Uh, no, uh, prior to that, uh, the documents that I made mention of earlier in terms of um, being integral to an application for bail, 
an order has been made for those documentation to be furnished before uh, the date of the 2nd of May. As you appreciate, I am constrained. I can't speak uh, beyond that. Ms. Riley and I cannot um, go into the details of it. The court from the initial appearance of Mr. Silvera in January made certain orders and we have to abide by those orders as counsel. How is your client doing? Under the circumstances, he is, as one would expect, very concerned, very apprehensive, very anxious. His position is consistent in terms of his honesty and his innocence. Uh, but under the circumstances, he appreciates uh, the position and why it was adjourned until the next date. And he's looking forward to a successful bail application so that he can reunite with his children. Anyone in his position would be looking forward to a successful application for bail. So, in those circumstances, to answer your question, absolutely. Yes. Thank you. Welcome. I don't know what Joel and Sylvia are talking about bail saying. You hear what they might talk about them and look forward to bail hearing. I don't know all of a sudden all of these people looking forward to bail hearing, you know. You hear what I said, student? Today again, the media was denied the opportunity to go into the court. And I said to myself, according to the Gun Court Act, the media is not allowed to go in and be a part of the proceedings. So he wants to get bail. So he wants to return to court on the, he's to return to court on May 2nd for the bail hearing. Well, I hope there will be no bail hearing. Well, what am I to say? Everybody should be given the right to a fair trial. So let me not say students. I hear some other bloggers on saying, oh, Mark Golden did they at the crime scene. Why no? Why some of them bloggers are wicked, so? Why the bloggers? Why some bloggers have to go out of them way to do them things that to, to, to people? When Mark Golden would have done crime scene, and if back going to the pan crime scene, do we all fix Bailey and golf in the Labour Party? You not think that fix Bailey would have called up Mark Golding name already? And everything you know, do for views and likes, you know, one must remember people's reputation. Hmm? One must remember people's reputation, man. I know everything on the call of people named Safama. Me is not Mark Golding's biggest fan. But I am not going to be somebody for tear down a man like that. Worst students, the man never depend on the scene. Just for views and clickbait and thumbnail. I know for stop it, man. Sometimes I see you do some things. And I said to myself, say, I only do it on the night. I can't on the sleep. But you know what? I go and leave on all alone. I go and leave on all alone. You hear what I said? I go and leave on all alone. I could not come to no own redemption. See this, the political eclipse are come though. The political eclipse are come. As you talk about that, students, I want to ask that. Any honesty, Nigel Clark? Any honesty, Nigel Clark? Can Nigel Clark do something in our students? And I said to myself, say, What? Oh, Nigel Clark for doing? I mean, I said to myself, say, 
Only in the ear say nine o'clock. I fi call the the, the 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 parliament out since we can call because in present wrong budget. Una hear about it, students? Una hear say nine o'clock present wrong budget. And if you come, I don't know what him do. Ligel. Rather than him come to the parliament because him shame and him know him going to get red card. About, yes, Flex. About 15 mistakes in the budget. I don't think nobody ever get paid the end of this month. Yes. Because the budget. You guys go to the budget here start the first of April. Don't it? Hmm? And them, them a wonder something, students. Nigel present a budget and the budget have been about 15 fold. And then cause him shame. Him not come at the parliament. Him send sleeping dead where she name again Fieval Williams. Him not send the state minister for financing her. Him send Fearval, well, you know, she's droopy, droopy, and sleepy, sleepy. <laughs> she look like the old them. <laughs> Lord Jesus. You know, she look like the old them in her students. Droopy, droopy, and sleepy, sleepy. And then, then what, what, Mr. Speaker? Then, Mumma Lashi she say. Then, Mumma Lashi she turn around, pan them. <laughs> Mumma Lashi say, how oh, is this happening? One piece of bangarang in the parliament. So because him shame, him make sure he send the budget to Fieval for come read it. But no worry, Nigel, next week you must come at the parliament. <laughs> Nobody Nobody can get no salary. Nothing students. Paul Alluwelling now get paid this month, you know. Just six sacks now get paid this month, you know. The police commission now get paid this month, you know. Because of Nigel Clark, I'm going to wait till the end of me. Yes. For no beloved. Remember everybody talk about why are the best, best budget Warrior this, warrior that. <laughs> All the pensioners, them will forget the little increase. <laughs> Lord Jesus. Pensioners! Pensioners! Let me tell you, no. only never know. Not even the pensioners I get their money this week. The end of this month. Because of Nigel mistake. The time you did it at, at, at Traceway. The time you did a trace with the question here. Bigfoot, Mrs. Bramwell. The time you did about she's not wife, she's speaker. You would have focused on the nation business. Nigel, where are you? Nigel, where are you? Nigel, where are you? <laughs> oh. Mama last she did the course I said the auditor general never see it. Eh? Mama last she course Nigel in the garden hiding and the pensioners. But, but me glad say not even Paula go get paid the month at the end of this month. <laughs> you see where I'm when people not humble? Or they see where I'm never meant him depend. Red cured. Red cured. Red card Marky G. Every minute you get up, you're the pan fix, you're the pan CV, every way you're there. I defend. I wonder if you want she there. Are you <laughs> students? You know what I mean? All of a sudden, him take up the position I defend, Juliet. I wonder. Yeah. I, I imagine. <laughs> Lord Jesus. <laughs> oh, me must wash up my mouth. Them say the time I call certain name, the call I say must wash out my mouth. 
But I, you know, see every minute in my defense, this speaker. Mm -hmm. So me, I said to myself, say, you have greater interest to defend the speaker than you have interest at talk about the parliament and the finances for the country. So, the commission and I get paid. The DPP now get paid. As some of you it, you know, enough of them now get paid the month that is ended. Plus, the police, them now get the overtime. So, yeah. them now get the increase until me. Plus, the nurses and the doctors, them now enlarge. Then, them say, you don't know why you're the next sweet part of it. All of the ministries, agencies, and departments have to send back the money. Don't have ministry, Lord Jesus. Hey, have to send only if you want me to talk, say, talk teacher. You know why? Yes. Yes. All of the ministry agency and department, them, him turn the official draw grind. Rather than them do the finance ministry work, him turn the draw grind. And I said to myself, said students, I really this the country come to? I really this the country come to? I have never seen a budget approved. Then have to seek reapproval in less than two weeks. Have you ever seen that? I never see it under Omar Davis. I never see it under Peter Phillips. I never see it under Adlisha, but you come come see it with Ligel. I you know when do Jamaica in purposely make sure him not come at the parliament, you know. In purposely not show up at the parliament, you know. In purposely send droopy fever, you know. And only no say fever droopy droopy and come in like walking dead. So fever she depan. Missed and then. Think about it, student. Hey! Set up. Lord Jesus. Uno wa meta. How am I turban? How am I turban? Put the turban over us. Lord Jesus. All right. Partner draw. Partner draw. Andre. Andre. Set, set a rat trap, set a rat trap, set a rat trap for the two for the rat them, set a rat trap. Set, set a rat trap, set a rat trap, set a rat trap for the two for the rat them, set a rat trap. Set, set a rat trap, set a rat trap in the parliament, set a rat trap for the two for the rat them, set a rat trap, set a rat trap, set a rat trap for the two for the Set a rat trap in a FLA. Set a rat trap in the two foot rat. Then set a rat trap. Set a rat trap. Set a rat trap in the two foot rat. Then set a rat trap in a the school. The one them we are teeth to pity them money. Set a rat trap. Set a rat trap. Set a, set a rat trap. Set a rat trap in a the judiciary. We don't want them to take money out of the table. Set a rat trap. Hey! Hey! <laughs> Lord Jesus, students! Hey! <laughs> what a bangarang! Students! 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 Una dede! <laughs> so, all coincidental. How coincidental say Nigel missing from the parliament and Juliet missing from the parliament the same hour, oh, second minute. He? What a coincidence say Juliet not show up at parliament and Nigel not show up at parliament. How? <laughs> Boy! Think about it, no students. How coincidental. Nigel no show up. And Juliet no daddy. I wonder if <laughs> you know. La. I wonder if we must read out the file. 
Read all the files, students. 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 <laughs> Romeo and Julie. Lord God. Students. Students. Think about it, my man. And then droopy, droopy, fearful, she come take up the job. Mr. Speaker. <laughs> Teeth and tongue say. Lord Jesus. <laughs> the defender of the speaker not around and the speaker not around. I would they are Lord Jesus. I would them see a grand key man. <laughs> I wouldn't see a grand key man since we. Juliet. Juliet. <laughs> Is it true? No, sir, students. I will not go. I will not go. Hmm? Hello, good night. Hello. Yes, good night, sir. What's up? You good? Yes, sir. How oh, can I help you? I'm saying if you're good. Why, why would I not be good? Okay, I'm just, you know, that's a yearly up, you know? All right, sir. Nobody, nobody disturb the process now. I'm at time in the class. Go back in the no, class. No, I'm just, I'm just ask you one question. What is the question? Uh, the information that you divulged, do you take time to verify them? So uh, why why would I not verify them, sir? Okay, I'm just, I'm just uh, uh, I'll make sure to you verify them. All right. Bless up here. Go in peace. Hello. Students, is there any truth to the argument? Is there any truth to the argument that the Speaker of the House was seen in Grand Cayman? Is there any truth to the argument? And is there any truth to the argument that the finance, the finance minister was also seen in Grand Cayman? So I said to myself, for the person in a Cayman, they tell me, so them say, Ligel and Julie. I said to myself, what was Nigel and Juliet doing in Grand Cayman? And the nation business needed to be attended to. But students, I leave it there something now. Yeah. Mash up the budget, then are they are key man. You are speaker, speaker not in the house. Lord Jesus. But it shall reveal itself. All shall reveal in due time. Unless, unless you not set up investment or, or, or something there. You know them are set up over there? The Shell Company them. And the Shell Company them, they are set up over there. You remember like how them set up the Shell Company at St. Lucia. And in America, at the Shell Company, they must set up for move the money. <laughs> Large students. Students, when they get a little laughter now. When you see me here, I grow up. Lord, me here, I get slangy. <laughs> yes, students. <laughs> they must know if it's honeymoon or the nation business or if a Shell Company, they must go over there, go create. But we shall know it when it's we reach the business tycoon, the lady from Taiwan, who no say the lady, the Vietnamese woman, Miss Land, to sentence to death over the fraud. Who no say the Vietnamese lady will get sentenced to death for the fraud. I will say to no students. Only go and see some of them in this country when the PNP farm government. Only go and see some of them. I go get the death sentence for the thief in money. Students, you no go hear about it, Mr. Marsh. Me not take no call, no man. 
Look like them gone for money, moon. But I go and tell you the political eclipse are come. The political eclipse are come, so no go on there. Hmm. 46 billion dollars she won embezzle. Pan a parliamentary day. Juliet not their parliament. And when the next one, Nigel missing out of the parliament. And then a birdie whispered to me and say, them the pan money moon. You stack your mind, them the pan money moon. Money moon, them the pan. But Nigel, your time has come to a close, you know. Your time has come to a close. You take up more time defend you let you def But you see, Paul, I got on by your car. Paul, I have fear dividends them for pay every month. And when she can get fear money for pay, justice sites have got on by you. The commissioner of police have got on. And the lad, students, who now got to hear about it, you know. Who now got to hear about it, you know. Who not go hear about the amount of people where can get them salary now? Yes, Errol Ricketts, I'm a madman. Diagnosed by what? 21. By where them say maybe bipolar money. Me, me professionally mad. You have a problem? You not have to come listen to the madman. You not have to listen to the madman, you know. I want to say madman talk up more truth than nothing else in this country. So you go on and talk about my mental state. As a mad, you can yes, man, the madman they bought. You know, so much people watch the madman, 6,000 ad. The first paycheck for the commission and him not get it. The first paycheck for the commission and him not get it. Don't it? But what a bangarang in this country. <laughs> right. My name. Is who this a Me not taking no cap. Is somebody. Hello, good night. Good night, teacher. Mm. But you know, see, Julian Roberts asked ask her if it had got implicate anything, and she said, no, nothing now going to happen. And you tell me, say, civil servants now get their money? Only now get paid till the next month. Because remember, say, it have to go through the, it have to go through the, um, I know the auditor general. I want them to have to go through administrative accountant general. And I get to understand. So remember, I said the money must reach by the 15th of the month. Fees start reflect yes. to get the payment. Remember, say no. Yes. It it a go a Senate tomorrow, don't it? Tomorrow. Yes. When it go a Senate tomorrow, it have to come back next week, Tuesday. And if we got Gigi for sign up. And it have to go the governor general for sign up for sorry for the backside. Large Una un, un na get no peer. Time come. Una not getting no peer. Them now me couldn't know. But me can tell you the students. Una na get peer till me. Eh? But I, I know something was a missing a teacher because the way she had book she flash she not answer because I even Warmington asked her. She, she not answer. And ask her and mama she lash she turn around, around ask her the question them because even the parliament yeah. tear and them not going to get paid. No. Nobody now go get paid Nobody. Because, budget the whole because and I didn't I saw the thing in a teacher, but I didn't know it was 15 errors, 15 errors, and 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 Eli um Liger did a, a, a different people wife. Yes, and then it was all coincidental say he all coincidental say he missing and she missing from the house. He, Actually, at the same time, I share and share. I him forget red card because I married wrong budget, a bogus budget in gay country. Member one point three, one point three what? Trillion. Mm. I say go spend this, this, this a financial year. I feel me coming to now water and a Kingston. Me living now. A matter of fact, me not have water about two months now. Me have to buy water in a Kingston. In a Kingston, yeah, me there. Ah, you don't have water? Verbi, Verbi, no, no, no water. Udam, no, no water. Jones Avenue, no, no water. So, I love to know Beverly Prince, I deal with. 
Lord you Jesus. Know, I'm not going to post that I see her. So I make it known. Everybody, we always have water problem down here, teacher. We always have water problem down here. All right. Thank you, Father. As you talk about that, I'm going into a serious discussion about water and politics. Tonight, yes, students, you know, call up the people then. We have big guests over yeah, here tonight. Big, water. big guests. We need water. Big, play Eli. Eli. Play Eli. Can we get big guests tonight? Go, all right. Yeah, good night, my boy. No, no, no. Yes. Students, you know, the money not going wrong. You know, don't know what I tell you, no. Nigel. Mess up the budget and not getting paid till me. He like, he like, he like. Yes, comrades! Youth and youth! Undecided photos! PNC coming again! So tell your neighbor, tell your friend! Green man, I ride with like mule! And I set the nation for fall! But we have a new name for him! What in Boy, we tired that the labor pays. They drive across the bus and the country going down the drain. Yes, we tired that the labor pays. Poverty a bus we shut and we going insane. Why, why? Eli, at the new name for the bus driver. Eli, that's how you hear from every corner. Eli, the name a ring throughout Jamaica. Eli, 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 Eli
spend billions of dollars on them to repair them and to put them on the road to, to stop the problems that we are now faced with we, we, in the grill and across we, the Where are these? Where are these? This man truck being housed. Where, where is this, this located? It's, I'm on Bevin Avenue in Montego Bay at the NWC office in St. James. This is the graveyard for the billions of dollars that we have spent on buying these trucks. Ian Hales. Those were the trucks that you and Bobby Pickersgill put on the road in 2015? Yeah, correct. In, 20, in 2011 going 2012. We went in at the time and we know with climate change that we were faced with some we were faced with some decision because as far as 2007, they were trying to dismantle the NWC. When the government changed in 2012, 2011, 2012, we decided to ensure that there was a rapid response unit there because of climate change and that in this country, you can have an emergency at any time. Um, mm -hmm. Areas can be without water. You might have a serious fire or whatever the, 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 the causes are, you have something in place as a government, because at the end of the day, we have to protect the most vulnerable and we have to protect our people. Mm -hmm. So when we, when we got out in 2016, they went back at it again to dismantle it and redundant the hundreds of staff that were there at the rapid response unit. And it's sad, you know, Andrea, because look, a truckload of water we used to sell in the grill for, between fifteen and twenty thousand is now being sold for fifty thousand dollars. What you say, one truckload of water is now that used to be sold for fifteen or twenty thousand. Because when when they dismantled the NWC in 2016, you know, the argument in Parliament at the time by the Minister of Water at the time, he said the private sector can absorb the demand that the country will be faced with in terms of water trucking of water going forward and i live to see and to prove that was a wrong decision by the jamaica labor party government at administration at the time you you, you, you so, so you have citizens in the grill now who are searching for water daily they are searching for water daily and to see that our people who can't afford because fifty thousand dollars now for a truckload of water might be a month's salary or a month and a half salary and you still have to feed your kids you still have to send them to school all of this still have to be done out of that fifty thousand. so a lot of our citizens are going without water in western west Milan slash negril but this is a so you say it moved from 15 to twenty thousand mm -hmm. to fifty thousand dollars for one truckload of water yeah so the water crisis is bringing forth a major revenue for some people yes for some people for sure because look the, you have citizens in the grill now the citizens take it upon themselves to be searching for water whether it is the tank up in westland mountain the, the citizens not the nwc you know the citizens are now searching for what main leaks, water leaks, and, and they are searching, they're even searching for water and how to get it into their pipes. Because the priority right now, under the Tourism Enhancement Fund, uh, Enhancement Fund, I think this week and last week, I think it was a grant of $25 million to truck water in Negri. Mm -hmm. the, the Member of Parliament also got, I think, monies for trucking water. And $5 million were provided to the parish council for 40 to be divided amongst 14 councillors. But the money that is, that is put forward by the Tourism Enhancement Fund, majority of trucks that are in the grill now are not from Westmoreland. They are from Kingston and St. Catherine. The majority are water trucks. Repeat that? No. Repeat. No, I want you to repeat that part. So you're saying the majority of the trucks that are now in Negril are not from that side of the island. No, They're from we have, and... we, we have cesspool truck where the cesspool sign is painted off now and it's now a water truck. Because in those situations, yeah. the, ministry of, 
the Ministry of Health is supposed to certify every water truck before they can truck water to you. So you have people who have them successful truck now paint out the side of the truck just to start because the, the business of trucking water has become more lucrative now than running it through the pipes. And you know to, what really hurts? Last week, the Minister of Water ask you about it. Mm -hmm. I hear an allegation and I say I need to ask you about it. Is there any truth to the argument that Juliet Holness have some trucks down West Mala? I, 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 I don't know who owns the trucks. Um, I don't know who owns the trucks, but I can tell you uh, there's a lot of trucks down here that don't belong in West Milan. But I can tell you. Have you heard that rumor though? Yes, I've heard that rumor, but I don't have I I I I don't have any proof to it. Um so I can't speak to it, but I can honestly say to you that whoever those trucks belong to, mm. um the, the, the funding mechanism which is in place now that is trucking water. It is very lucrative now. And whoever owns those trucks are making millions and millions and millions of dollars. Whoever owns those trucks. I see the water, the Minister of Water flew into Negril. No, people in Negril are faced with a crisis. Mm -hmm. And you would have figured that as a Minister of Water, you're going to drive, you're going to come, you're going to meet with the residents, you're going to do some community meeting. The Minister of Water came here last week and he flew in on a helicopter. Wow. Flew in on a helicopter. And when he flew in on the helicopter, you had the police outrider bikes waiting to take him into an air conditioned closed door meeting with some stakeholders in Negril. Not with the citizens of Negril, you know, mm. a couple of stakeholders. And in no time he finished, and no time after he finished, he back on the helicopter and on his way back to Kingston. No, for me, it's a level of disrespect. And, and to make matters worse, mm. it, the two things he came and announced is the government is going to run a pipeline over a five-year period to give Negril some water. And outside of that, mm. they're putting in millions to truck more water to the people. I mean, and to me, it was it's a level of disappointment because you would have thought, think more or less that for an area such as Negril that has contributed to the development of this country in terms of the tourism, tourism product, product. Mm -hmm. the government would have put Negril as a priority and put West Milan as a priority. And I hasten to say, I wouldn't want to say that it's the way West Milan voted in the last parish council election where they're being punished now. But to every day that wow. pass, to every day that pass, it is looking more to me like the people of West Milan are being punished wow. for exercising their democratic right. But come to think of it, Mr. Hills, you said something just now and I have to break and come back to it. You said even cesspool trucks mm -hmm. are trucking water. Ooh. Have you reported this to the Ministry of Health? No, but, 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 but the Ministry of Health knows about it. That's why today, and for the last couple of days, they have sent out a circular saying that all trucks must be certified by the Ministry of Health. But because, I don't know, because the trucks are so well connected, nobody is going for this certification. So it, it, I mean, there are still some unanswered questions that needs to be answered. But the people of the people of Negril and Western West Milan are suffering. And, and you know, when you come and tell somebody, when you come and tell the citizens that mm -hmm. over a five-year period, you and I know, or I know, that the, it's most likely that the government will change next year. Very not it will. Andre Stevens making sure of that. Yeah. So 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 for me, it's for you to tell, because under the minister, under the act in terms of being a minister. You know, the minister could sign up, could sign the project as an emergency project, and next month the pipeline start going. You know, true. So, so if we come down here and fly down on the helicopter and come and lie to the people them that 
There's nothing that government can do other than chuck the water and give you a, a five-year plan. It, 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 it's disappointing to say the least. It's very disappointing. But I see, I want to show, this is serious. Cesspool, cesspool, Jamaica, can you hear this? Cesspool truck in Negril and Westmoreland. Can you hear this? Cesspool truck come up from Kingston and St. Catherine to come. Some uninvited. Some uninvited guests invaded the Negril Primary School in Westmoreland sometime on the weekend, making off with a water tank from the compound. The discovery interrupted operations at the institution, forcing administrators to find ways and means for students to function. Upon hearing this news, Minister with Responsibility for Water Matthew Samuda pledged to replace the stolen tank, but political representatives in the area beat him to the task. Wednesday morning, two new tanks were handed over to the school, where Patrice Frame is the vice principal. We are feeling elated because when we found out that the tank was stolen, believe you me, we were heartbroken and we were wondering what was going to happen. Monday morning when we reopened, we reopened the lower section without water. We were not even able to provide lunches as we normally do. The tanks were provided by Councillor for the Negril Division, Arthur Colley, and Shadow Minister for Water, Ian Hales. The latter says after receiving Colley's call about the incident, he knew something had to be done. It was a disappointment and it is sad, but myself and Councillor Colley got together and we decided to purchase two tanks. The school needed one. But we decided to purchase two because there's drought now and there's a lack of water in the grid. So we decided to purchase two. Unfortunately, this is not the first instance of theft at the institution and Vice Principal Frame is fearful of a recurrence. This sentiment is shared by Councillor Colley, who is calling on the Ministry of Education to look into the matter. Based on what happened here as it relates to the removal of the tax, um, it, to my belief that... We have to provide an adequate security here to deal with a situation like this because it's likely to happen again. Currently, the school lacks security with only a female gatekeeper at the entrance. Trisha Gay Kelly, CVM. So, Mr. Hales, so, they took the... Yeah, but, Andre, here again, um, you have the... Minister of Water who promised these tanks. We couldn't wait, we couldn't wait again for the helicopter to come by and make some more promises and we might not get the water tank. Mm. So we took it upon ourselves and we bought, we purchased the tanks and we put in the tanks. That's one. Two is the member of parliament have tanks given out. Some people get in five tanks, some people get in four. Wow. And I'm I'm going to a location tomorrow where one person receives seven. Seven I'm, going, I'm going to a location tomorrow where one person receives seven tanks and I'm going to expose them for it. So you, you, have, you have the member of parliament driving by there twice a day. You have the minister promising tank. And, mm -hmm. up to, and, and, and three, a couple of days had passed and the students have the been students, out of school. Yes, yeah. So you have no. So so you're caught between. It's not you. You want the, you want who is getting paid to do their job to do their job, you know. But so who are getting time, these tanks? Talk talk to me. Is it the labor rights getting these tanks? Well, let well let me say to you. I don't hear one PNP get one. I don't hear one PNP get one. And I called on the member of parliament. Who is the and member of parliament down there? Outgoing. Who is the outgoing member of parliament? A, a gentleman by the name of More or Less Wilson. Oh, sorry. More or Less Wilson. Yeah, More or Less Wilson. Uh, uh, yeah. the, two, the, two, the two JLP councillors. So I call on the three of them to give an explanation of who are getting these tanks, who is storing. Normally when, normally when somebody gets a water tank, you know, Andre. You, you pick it up at SDC, you pick it up at RADA, you pick it up at a government agency where the process is transparent, and you know who get it. Mm. What is going on now? Somebody call you on your phone and say, you know what, go pick it up at that private yard. So you go to someone else, yeah, 
what they're doing now, you know, they're storing 40 or 50 tanks or more at individual homes where well, you go and you pick. So, so there's no need for the state agency anymore to be distributing and to keep an account for the taxpayers so of this country. A bag, a bag of business. Yeah. Where it's it coming like one rare, rare ground. Yeah, that's what's going on. But this, that's this can't right. Well, it's not right, you know. Today, today, somebody called me and said to me that one of the tanks is being sold for fifteen thousand dollars down there. The labor rights them down there selling them for fifteen thousand, and this is a church sister selling the tank. Well, well, Andrea, let, let me say something to you. Um, the people of Westmoreland deserve better. The people of Negril deserve better. And as, as, as any government, your job is to provide a safety net. And I don't think that people take the crisis, this water crisis, seriously enough. You have some people who are exploiting the situation to make a dollar. And it's not even an honest dollar to make a dollar from it. And it is sad and it is disappointed. And the, 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 somebody needs to look into this, how it's being distributed, who you're picking, who gets the tank. There is no way one person can get five and a half, two in the yard already hook up. It is wrong. It is totally wrong. So how many tanks did they pledge to distribute in the area? Between RADA and the Tourism Enhancement Fund, I think it's between anywhere between three and 500 thus far, with more to come. With more to come. Because and you're saying that this already has become a JLP monopoly? Yes, there, there's no PNP that is getting anything. They're, they're making sure that that is there, there's no PNP getting anything. And and you know, I mean, look, Negril, Negril is too important. And and if you know it it is for me, it, it is hard to see the struggles that the people are faced with in terms of. I mean, I see people every day investigating the pipeline to see where you have water, where you're going to have water. And it's hard to see tanks that are being given out. And you have some people with a five gallon old bucket of paint can, a barrel that came from America last year, the blue little barrel there. Those are the things persons have to bring into their gate just to get a little water. Meanwhile, some people on the back end is getting five and seven drums of water, getting tanks of water that each one holds up to 650 to 1,000 gallons of water. It is unfair. So I want to ask you, though, Mr. Hills, and seriously, what is the water development plan for the parish of Westmoreland and Hanover? Because I'm gathering equally that the parish of Hanover is faced with what you're talking about. All right, so... Let me explain to you because I, 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 I've been trying to help them, you know, even though I'm not getting paid for this, I've been trying to help them, but it just goes to show you that the opposition have a plan under the next PNP administration led by Mark Golden as a prime minister. So here we go. In, 20, in 2015, we ran a pipeline from Great River to Lucy at a cost of 1.2 billion in ensuring that Hanover gets water and we free up the Logwood treatment facility, water treatment plant to give Negril and West End water. Because Andre, there was a study that was done that each tourist that comes here uses 400 gallons of water every day on average, everyone. Wow. But the people that live in Negril and live in Westmoreland and Hanover can't get water. So we ran that pipeline first, which it, it has served its purpose. Mm -hmm. But what has happened since then is for commercial development, residential development, and for the development of the tourism product, all these approvals were granted before ensuring that you had adequate supply of water and the infrastructure was developed to accommodate everything that is coming on stream. Mm -hmm. So it's basically putting the cart before the horse. What we have to do now to solve the problem, you have to take the logwood which you're going to get four to five million gallons of water from every day 
You go to Ruan River, you pick up another 10 million, you're up around 15 million. You have to tap into the Cabarita River, which you're going to get an extra 15 million gallon of water every day. You tie all three systems together. Because what is going on across Jamaica, you know, with the 200 and odd water system we have right across the country, you know, there mm -hmm. are independent water systems. So you can do a supply and demand it across the country. Mm -hmm. So if one area have excess water, that excess water stays there and run back to the sea. And oh. the areas without water don't get any because all of these systems across the country are independent. And that's one of the first things that we need to do under the next administration is to tie in all of them. them. You have to tie in all of them. That's number one. Because if you're tying them, you get rid of 50% or more of your problem. So when you get the water from Roaring River now and the carburetor, you have 30 million gallons of water to give every citizen in Westmoreland so water. You have, so the carburetor and the Roaring River, where does those rivers lie in Westmoreland Hanover? In West Milan. So this theater that river now, is it a case that those rivers have dried up or the case that the water not going to the places? Andre, I, I'm going to send you a video tomorrow. We did a case study in the NWC with WRA rural. We did a study with WRA. And, and it shows that you can take 15 to 20 million gallons of water out of the carburetor every single day without not affecting the environment and basically to service Westmoreland and to service the people of Westmoreland. So where is the water for Cabarita? Are them, 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 them lock it off from this? From, what happened? No. Why are the water not channeling now? Because you need, a, you need a pumping station at the Cabarita. And for eight years, this government have known and the NWC have known that if you put a plant at the Cabarita, you tie all of them together, you have water for the people of Westmoreland. So but, you're saying that all Carburetor River needs is a pump? Yes, that's what it needs. My a treatment and a treatment. That's all it needs. But but as I hear, as I heard so one yeah, of your so Lisa yes, I wanted to make it clear. Mm -hmm. There is a drought, but there is water. There's water for every city. There's water in Westmoreland for every citizen in West in the parish of Westmoreland. So all you say need. Is a what is something called? You need you need a treatment you need a treatment plant and you need pipeline. That's it. Treatment plant pipeline and you run the pipeline and you run it you run it on the road straight into Negril. That's all you need. You know you can't oh, do it tomorrow morning under emergency. Oh, no, this is this is a this is a serious revelation. So what Ian here is saying, Jamaica, that this that there is the area is dried. But the area is not without water. So apparently some people is making this business of the drought, the so-called drought, a money business for people to truck in water. Yeah. Because no, NWC can never tell you that they don't have the water in West Milan. They can't tell you that. They can't, they can't tell you that. But, but every so single, you know, every single day, you know. The rivers dry up. Yeah, but every single day, you know, I can't tell you this much. Every single day at the tip of the Carburita River where it meets the sea, over 10 million gallons of water that could be used for drinking, that could be used for commercial, residential, and tourism development goes out to the sea. Every single day, we lose over 10 million gallons of water to the sea. And it's there. No, this is serious. But like, like I heard your, when your caller spoke out earlier, she said she doesn't have any water in Kingston. We have one dam in Kingston, but guess what? We have over 227 wells in Kingston that the NWC have shut down. The government have shut down these wells because they say, you know what? They're contaminated. There's technology now that can clean up any water and ensure that our citizens get the water. But, but first thing you have to do with the NWC is, you know, you have to put people in place that can manage and hold them accountable. And outside of that, the minister that is in charge of water has to be knowledgeable about the sector. Because you don't get water by, you don't understand the sector by flying on a helicopter, you know. Mm. You understand the sector by meeting with the citizens of this country. Do your own research, your own investigation, 
and then ex explain to the technocrats. Because oftentimes the citizens have the answer more than the technocrats, you know. True. Oftentimes. Because if we are the con, I see where the NWC, them tech, since the inception of the NWC, they had up on their website, water is life. You know, so them take it down now. Mm. Mm. You will never go on the NWC website anymore and see water is life. They take it down. But remember, so the NWC has become corrupt and politicized from this administration. You know? So mm. I don't expect the NWC to, to be carrying out the effectiveness and the mandate of distributing water to every Jamaican citizen. Because if you remember, you recall that one of the flagship of the Jamaica Labour Party is that they're of the view that they need to privatize water. Well, well Andre, let me say something to you. You have at least 10% Jamaicans who are on PATH, who are on the PATH program, who, are, is, who is on pension, that can only pay a minimum of $500 a month to get some water. Mm. You have to protect that 10%. That's number one. Number mm. two is if you cut non-revenue water, if you can cut it, the non-revenue water, you have over 150,000 Jamaicans not paying a water bill. Whether they're getting it or not, they're not paying it. I think it's more. Yeah. Uh, so you have that. If if you if you concentrate on non-revenue water, you tie the salary of the management of NWC to a profit margin if they make a profit. So everybody's in this together. If you do all of those things, you don't have to divest True. the NWC. But guess what? This government believes in privatization, whether it is here, Jamaica. Whether it is NWC, whatever it is, they believe that the answer to the problems that we have is to privatize. And see, it's the same privatized operation or, or execution. Yes. No, that has allowed the people in the grill to be paying up to $50,000 for a truckload of water for those that can afford it. So how do hotels not... manage down there? Well, the hotels are paying it, you know, because remember... At the end of the year, the hotels can use this as a tax write-off because it, 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 it's basically a lose. This can be written off, you know. Because if you look at the country, the majority of people that pay taxes are the PAYE. We know that. Mm. So the hotels will find a way to absorb the cost. Um, but the little man who have, who have the little man who don't have nothing, have no, him can't get a truck to truck the $50,000. He's the one that is caught in the middle of all of this. And so, until... So the ordinary what, man not buying what? So, so the truth is the ordinary man down there not buying it. It's really the hotels, them servicing the water. Yeah, and, and you're at the mercy. You're at the mercy. If under the Tourism Enhancement Fund, if you can get one of them five-gallon bucket of water or one of them drums. Because if you're not a card-carrying member of the Jamaica Labour Party, you can't get no water. You can't. And, and the sad thing is, you don't have as much labor right in the grill that can take all the water. Oh. So I, I, I'm wondering in terms of, from a transparent standpoint, where all of those funds and the trucking of water are going to go. So I am willing to divide the 20 million into 50,000 alone, you know, just mm. to see where the, where the funds are going. And how the water is being yes, on average per day, how many trucks active carrying water down the grid? Out of probably around 40 50 trucks. So, where they go, go get the water? They said the Roaring River and the Cabarita River. No, some, some go to the Cabar, and, and here's the thing again. Yes, some go to the Cabarita River for the water, and some go to Bullstrud in Grangel for the water also. So, as I said to you, know, Andre. We have the water. It's not that we don't have the water, but but the trucks are getting <laughs> the trucks are getting the water. Some of them go to Cabarita and full, mm. and, and some of them go to Bullstrud and full. But they're delivering the water to those that pay. So until the money is run out that government has furnished to truck the water, you're not. There's no interest from the stakeholders or the powers put that be in the pipes to put it in the pipes. Oh, and all you said it need is the pump, the, the pump and pipes. Yeah, man, that's it. I run the pipeline, and the minister can't start it tomorrow 
by signing off on it and judge it as an emergency project because it is of national interest. It affects the tourism dollar and it affects the citizens of Jamaica. And this is about 150,000 people in West Milan and Hanover who is without Correct. water on a day-to-day -day basis. Correct. Correct. So all this time I thought that you people down there never had any water because the arguments were that the rivers were drying up and there was a drought. Well, well, one thing I can tell you... Know, Mr. Hills, to really go to the Cabarita River tomorrow, uh -huh. And show me those water systems. No, Mr. No. I, I want no man. I can't I, no man, I, I, I can't I, I can't send it to you before your program is done tonight. I can't I can't WhatsApp it to you the minute I get off. No, something wrong, man. So they're making serious so on an average, one truck a truck like three or four. No, it, they work 24 hours, you know, Andre, because the money is life. Oh. So they work 20. There's no rest in this thing here. Some, so as, uh, we uh, speak, as we speak, them, they yeah, are the river, I take up the water, I forgot truck tonight to the hotels. Yeah, man, because all the, the, the same truck, man, they go to the river and they use a pump and put it, they use their own personal pump, put in the water, fill their truck. And they head out again. So it's a 24-hour operation that is going on. So the NWC don't see this as an illegal practice? Well, 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 that's a question I would like. I've been asking that also. And even the Ministry of Health. But, Andre, you know, um, civil servants are afraid to come down on some people at times because you don't know who attacked my... And we are good at we are good at crushing some Jamaicans that perform their duties every day in the interest of the Jamaican people. But I never know said this water business is such a money scheme. Yeah. So, no man, this is this this is appalling Jamaica. I never know that we have this kind of Ponzi scheme running in the country. Yeah. So, if, if so you're saying that when you become the next water minister, your plan of action is one to interconnect the, the, the web of independent systems. Yes, and we're going to do that throughout the entire Jamaica. Because look, you can't have a parish. St. Elizabeth suffers from the most drought, Andre. But St. Elizabeth have the most water in Jamaica. Really? The Black River has the most, the largest body of water in jamaica but yet saint elizabeth suffer from the most drought and, and from in terms of pipeline across saint elizabeth it it, it it is non-existent but saint elizabeth suffers and the majority of people in saint elizabeth also have to the, the truck in the water in saint elizabeth is a big business to you know so it's not west Milan alone no but west Milan is west Milan. West Milan is like the poster child right now. But it, 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 whoever have all of these trucks that goes from parish to parish in terms of ensuring that they can truck the water is making a large sum of money. And I wouldn't be surprised if at the end of the day when everything is said and done and the dust is settled, mm. you hear some name called, you hear some person's name called, who you would have never thought would be in the business of trucking water across this country. I can't believe. Mm -hmm. So Jamaica, so even though we have a drought, we have a serious water distribution problem. Yeah. Yeah. That's what it comes down to. Andre, if, if you look at Jamaica, wow. and if you're, if you're tying Portland, if you're tying Portland, Portland with St. Mary, and then you go to the Martha Bray, mm. and you take you take you, you, you go in St. Anne, and you go to Great River, and you go to the Black River. Saint that alone can fix the water distribution problem. For the, for the for, for half of Jamaica, if not three quarter. 
but they're all independently linked. But so, when you when you were the junior minister for water and the environment, mm -hmm. you said that research was done at the time, and yeah. you, so the Labour Party don't have access to this research. research. They, do have, they do have it, but guess what? When you go in power, you know, as they do when they went into power, it's not to look at Jamaica and say, how do we put in a system that is effective? that can serve all of our citizens. You will have one MP over here as a ball out and say, them 10 people around here, so I want some water, you know. So in terms of the plan that you left there, for them just to execute, as well as the, 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 in terms of the finance ministry, the plan that Mark Golden left there, is just to execute because the blueprint is there. So you just, all you have to do is execute. But because of the level of distraction, the, the, the politics within the National Water Commission, you find yourself where the national good mm, suffers. Is, suffers and it's put to the side. So we have a system in Jamaica where water is now a political brand. Yeah. Water is a big business because if I can make 50,000 of a one truck of water, and I make six trips for the day. That is that is 2,500, 3,000 US for the day. Yep. Times 30 days for the month. Yep. Half one truck and some people have 20 trucks on the road. So water business is bigger business than even the scamming right now. I, I wonder if the chopper them in a, in a, <laughs> in a West Milan, in a the water business too. That would have been interesting to know you, if the you, chopper. You, 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 you probably have some different people doing the chopping now. Oh, yeah. Government badness. Yeah, but, but um, you know, it. I, I tell you, Andre, I, I, I see the problem. Um, but I, I think what gives me hope and what makes me. We have, we have we have twelve months. We have twelve months, and and with those twelve months we have a plan to effectively go in and reorganize the NWC and make it more effective and start dealing with the issues that it faces. I believe that management is supposed to be tied to the performance of the NWC. I believe that. Mm. So you're talking about Arise performance evaluation. Mm -hmm. A rising tide lifts all boats. So management ought to be tied to the performance. Mm. And the people of this country demands more. They demand more. I mean, you come, you work in the hotel sector. You go home, you can't take a shower. Wow. You can't take a shower at home. You can't cook a pot. You can't get the kids ready to go to school what because you have no water. So, I mean, it is sad. And I've always asked, the, because the first question in WC ought to ask, you know, do we have the water? Yes. The next question is, how can we move it and get it to the homes of the citizens across Westmoreland? Those are the questions, and then you execute. You know, come and tell them, say, look, fly down in your helicopter and say, look, billions come into truck water. Millions come into truck water. No, no, mm. sir. Who benefits? So you're saying, him say, over a five-month, five-year period, when he could have start that next week? Yes. Because if it's in the national interest, mm. he could have done the project on an emergency basis. You yeah, could be an emergency. Because you say all the water is there, all it just needs is a distribution channel, the pump, and to be treated. Yeah. No, yeah. something wrong, man. So when you hear people calling me every day and say, sir, we find a pipe up a hill, they are leaking on. You have citizens now who have to take it upon themselves to be searching for water. And who can't find water? You have a couple of them where if the tank is on top of the school, they might go up there for, for, that, for that tank because they need the water. The next thing I want to talk to you about is the bottled water industry in this country. That is mm -hmm. worth $7.7 .7 billion. Mm -hmm. How all of these people get, we have a drought, but we still have water being bottled sending across the world. Where does water come from? Yeah, but Andre, we're really the country of wood and water, you know? So you're, saying, a, so you're saying the issue of drought is there, but it don't affect us. Yeah, but we, we have the water. You see, look, 
we, 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 we were not called just the country of wood and water and reggae music by accident, you know. We have reggae music, we have wood here, and we have water. Mm -hmm. But guess what? Unless you have somebody in charge that understand distribution, how you, how you because at logistics, the end of the day, distribution. logistics, how you're going to get it, that's where you start. And you have to say to everybody now that is building a house, a part of this approval process have to be rainwater harvesting. But you just don't especially Saint Elizabeth would do well with the rainwater. Yeah, you have to do that. So it has be, it has to become a part of the approval process. But you can't be handing out all these approvals, and you don't have the water, you don't have the road, you don't have the electricity, but you're granting approval. It it's just a hot mess. Can't continue. But at the end of the day, you know who mm. it affects more. Is the poor because in this country, you know, you have around five or six Jamaica, you know, you have the have, the have nots, the not so have. Mm -hmm. You have around six Jamaica. You do. And unless you can deal with all of those Jamaicans by putting forward policy that benefits the majority and grow the country at the same time, yes, protect the environment and ensure that we as citizens. At the end of the day, as, as the 2030 say, a place to live, a place to raise family, and a place to do business. Well, Let's none of them then the work towards that mission statement. None of that now go possible under this administration. Unless we get them out. Unless we get them out. And I I know that I have a timeline of 12 to 15 months to get them out. And as the months go by, I'm increasing my my presence across Jamaica because the people of this country can't take one, not another term of this administration. First of all, Jamaica, they have done us poorly with governance. They have done us poorly with representation. They have misused and abused the parliament. They have misused and abused the state resources. They have misused and abused the security forces. And coupled with that, they take responsibility for nothing. One head the parliament and one head the government. And they sit in their bed each night, be pinky and the brain to see how they're going to destroy people's lives. And I'm saying to you all, Jamaica, water is life. And when I think about it, that a woman can come on national TV to say she has not bathed for two months. When I think about it, that schools across the island are being disrupted because there is no water. Remember, already the teacher, they are dead off in the school there. Plus no water. You know, the, what kind of crisis is that in the school then? No water. We don't, no water in our schools, Jamaica. Do you know outbreak. that there's going to be severe outbreaks in our school? Plus, they're not going to be able to cook for the children on the PAD program. You know? Coupled with that, those children on the PAD program who get lunch from the schools, do you know that that is the one food to hold them till the next day? Yeah. Students and Jamaica, it is really bad. It's really bad. It, next yes, Courtney, because remember, you know, Jamaica, when a child is on path, they get that lunch at 12, 1 o'clock. And they have to wait until tomorrow morning to come get a breakfast or a lunch again the next day. True, true. It's a lot of, I know children who were on path that I had to give lunch money in high school and primary school as a student myself because they were still remember part not giving away not much money you know student mm -hmm. it's really bad in this country you know mm -hmm. and when it so what not even talk about the hospital then when i get the water mr Haynes, you want to touch on that well well let me say something to you and even if you take the sublimar hospital you have one section of the hospital where the new, the new wing of the hospital, you know, is the 
walkway and the corridor now where the chairs are lying for the citizens. A lady, yeah, called, me, a lady, a lady called me a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, that Jamaica, the new wing of the hospital is what? The corridor of the hospital. So where you walk, because it's lined with chairs on both sides now. So somebody called me and said, you know, I said, how are you doing? You know, I, I want to come to the hospital and look for you. And she said, Mr. Hills, I've been here now for five days and still not get a bed yet. I don't want to cheer me there. And you said to yourself, and, and I had to call somebody down at the hospital. and said, look, I know this person. And they got a bed the same day. But the new wing of the hospital is a call. This... But if you never call the person, wouldn't get the bed. No, no. And you're, you're, you're more, you're, you're, you can, in, in certain cases now, you will have people live much longer if they stay at home than go to the, go hospital, to the hospital because because when you go to the hospital most likely at times you're going to come out in a, on a you're going to come out in a body bag because majority of tests that is done at the hospital level it's it's not done in the hospital it's done by the private private places private private places so Andrew, i'll tell you this much i think the people of this country they have been suffering long and hard what happened in westmoreland the other day when we won 11 out of the 14 division it wasn't mm -hmm. a surprise to me because people are fed up and people are looking towards the next government in ensuring that we can deal with some of their issues and we can't we can't take nobody for granted and we can't take the citizens of this country for granted when we're going because they have they are basically telling us what they want now, you know, and what they expect of us and what they expect from us daily. Sure. And, 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 and I feel satisfied. I feel satisfied as a citizen, as a member of the People's National Party, that Mark Golden is ready on day one to deliver to the people of Jamaica. I feel good about that. Mm. The conversation about water tonight is one that we appreciate, Mr. Hills, to have been here tonight to discuss. Can we accommodate some calls, Mr. Hills, because I know it passed your bedtime. Can we accommodate <laughs> some calls for the next 15 minutes with you? I'll take a couple of calls because you're right. It's And I've eaten all day, you know, but I'll take a, I've, I've eaten, so I want to go get some for you. I hope it's something like a steam fish I say go eat tonight, you know. Well, 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 I, well, I'm not a meat eater, you know, so um, I'll get something to eat. Yeah. Oh, okay. Good stuff. Okay. Come, students, open the phone lines for me, please. Open the phone lines. Let me take some calls. Why Ian is going to be the next water minister? I hope I can be your arm. Um, I'm not even going to talk it for line. I'm <laughs> shut my mouth because I don't want to PNP them take it around. The labor right them take your own way. Hello, good night. Good night. Yes, caller, good night. Good night. Um it, the conversation as as usual, very revealing, very enlightening, very disturbing. Um, water, as we know, is considered by the United Nations as a basic human right. To have someone going months without being able to take a bath without just basic function basic use is so alarming right there seems to be a significant fundamental breakdown in in infrastructure just even the willingness of those in authority to ensure that their people have these basic necessities to survive right because it's affecting so many the schools the hospitals the I, I, again, I keep saying it has to be by design. There's no way that in 2024, when we're able to build all these highways, where you know we have these countries coming in building highways, building this, building that, but something as basic as being able to run a pipeline from the Black River, as as the gentleman uh, so you know put it so eloquently and get a water treatment plant and get where we could feed more than half of our or give more than half of Jamaica water and we struggle to do that is very very concerning very concerning and I, I have to ask I can I can no longer ask about what the prime 
officer is not doing. I have to turn to my people and ask them, what are you guys doing? How much how, how much longer are we willing to suffer under the thumb of these these buffoons in 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 politics mm. that are playing games with the people's lives um the one question i wanted to ask um or your pal ask a, or your pal ask a question or your pal ask a question darling or your pal ask a question like, my question to you is that you're saying that when Mark Golden goes in, he'll be ready for day one and X, Y, Z. To be honest, I'm concerned because there seems to be some structure in place that's preventing Andrew Holness from doing mm -hmm. that. So I'm wondering, if, as willing and as able as Mark Golden is, or ready as you are to do it, what if when you go in there, you're coming across this bureaucracy that's, you know, standing as a as 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 a barrier between you? What are you going to do? Because as, as simple as you found that, you know, you can go in there and you're ready and we can do A, B, C. My question is, I, I just don't feel it's going to be that easy for you. What are you willing to do to to make sure that this happens? Because all right, he, he will. I go and let him come back one day. And he will put outline his water plan. But I'm not going to make him talk him water plan tonight because the labor write them love copy. All right? True, true. So he will talk about it. Andre going to a town hall with the PNP. You understand? So all of the things they want to want for here, Andre go mm -hmm. care all of the PNP them for come talk about the manifesto. But not tonight. All right? All right Later. Sir. All right. Mm -hmm. Hello, caller. Good night. Hi, good evening, Andre. Good evening to your guest. Yes. Um, one question for Yeah, get to the point quickly, the minister, darling. The Minister of Health, what would he do if we start if the people have to stay home, can't bathe, can't cook, and a mal malaria disease break out in Jamaica? Well, if the malaria disease break out in Jamaica, remember them are funeral home we then connected to. Oh, okay. All right. I mm, okay. Yes. It's a big money business. The labor right them are running now. Good night, caller. Welcome. Hello. Good night, Andre. Yes, caller. What you say? And good night to Miss Faint. Yes, caller. Get to the we point quickly, want please. To talk any um, progressive plan that the labor right them can get it to mm. keep it because that's what they are doing. All right. No, we're not talking about the progressive plan the over here. Mm. The cesspool truck is true because I see it in Brownstone. You see the cesspool truck yes, of Brownstone and collect water? Yes. Jesus. Yes, it is in Brownstone. Crystal Lee have it down here. So Jesus. Son of West Malala, the, the, the cesspool truck, then there? Yes. You know, the shadow is behind Andrew Wallace because she, Andrew, and Juliet. Our cesspool truck. Have a good night. Large lady Guan. Guan. Jesus. Hello, good night. Yes. Minister of water in waiting. You understand? Yes. Where the lady just called and tell about the water to a cardifal meal is. Cardifal. Right. Run away there. And a chew. Because from Monday, Monday got no water in the day of The school them have locked down. And thing like that is the same cesspool truck. Jesus. Yes. You understand me? So, uh, so you really have seen the cesspool truck for you? Yo, I wipe them, I wipe them out. You and you pick up yourself. And you are clean. Right so right this is not more out. serious than nothing if the cesspool truck are wrong. Yes, sir. No, but you don't need for video the cesspool truck send me. Yeah, listen to me, man. You see, let me tell you. Video it and send it to you. It's okay. But you see, these stations, mm -hmm. these radio stations and things like that. Them not going to highlight it. Them not going to highlight it. But we will do it. Do all of them in Andrew Wallace's back pocket, man. We go and make Mr. Hales go and because Mr. Hales need to eat and he yeah, need man. to go cock up his foot yeah, and so forth. Thanks, yeah, Mr. Hales, yeah, for yeah, coming. I just want to I just want to thank you too for, for this medium, for writing this medium. All right. And I wish you and your listeners a good night. God bless you all and thank you. 
Yes, Mr. Hales, I know you have this platform that you can come on anytime, you, any hour, any second. Just a second away. All Thank right? You. Yes, Mr. Hales. Hello, good night. Andre, good night. Yes, caller. What you saying now? Uh, good night, Mr. Mr. Ian. Mr. Mr. Hales has left us. What you saying now? Mm -hmm. Today I was in West. Today I was in Westmore and down Nigel. Mm -hmm. And I tell you that the whole lipa water truck. I call water truck till me week. Mm -hmm. Around 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 thirty something water truck I call. What? And I'm telling you, <clears throat> Andre, it's really a mess down in Westmore. Really a mess. And yes. The, the, uh, there's nothing parish council can do about it. There's why may I tell you say it it it's stay bad. It's stay bad, mm -hmm. Andrea. Wow. So, yeah, and yes, it's correct in 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 not in like I'm saying for myself. Over thirty and, I truck you see. Yeah. Mm -mm. See, Miss this, Emma, send me the video. Let me go look at the video to send it. Put it, it in the it, studio. It's it stay bad. It's stay bad. And this is a money making venture. Producer sending you the video. Mm. Not you. All right, caller. Bless up yourself. Mm. Hello, good night. Hello, good night, Andre. Good night, caller. Producer sending the video. Mm. Mr. Hayes, not telling you, Larry. I'm from the country, so I live in Negri. We have Mayfield Falls. We have Benton Falls. Yes. We have Rolling River. All those people can come by and maybe water come to Negri. So the water really dead here? Yes. My I have to buy water for $10,000 to pull my tongue. Mm -mm. Why? Oh, Lord. How much are you used to pull your tongue? $10,000. $10,000? 10, yes. And how long the tank lasts you for? For three weeks. Oh, all right. Thank you for that. Okay. Mm -mm. Hello, good night. Andrew. Yes, my friend. Nobody tell you if you kill off Andrew. No, no, no. Let me say something to you. Now, now I start with you real quick. I respect you. I rate you. But sometimes I want to beat you. Why you want to beat me? Me, no sorry for the people in my Jamaica no more. You know why? Mm. The fool let me run back at the politician there. Yes. The politician and rob them, beat them, and know them and give them shit for now. Mm-mm. Cesspool Cesspool truck a carry water. So they deserve it shit when them get to get Cesspool truck! Jesus. Yeah, and, and, and the, the, the water minister we have beside them. Minister, I miss something to you. <laughs> yes, it's sent on. Mm. And full of water. Sent on a holy river. And most of the areas in the center don't have water. Civil rights don't have water. Scare town don't have water. Mm. Lime all. You understand me? I said, mm. so you see, pretty stories where politicians have come with. Me not, me, me, me really not, me not, me not care no more. Can you see, you cannot give people them shit to me now? Mighty God. Yeah. Mighty I God. You can't give me people them, my brother and sister them to me now. Mighty oh, God. Man. Jesus? No. But we I get them I get the water. No, Andre. Jesus. All right, sir Jesus. Sir, me not produce violence over here. Go on, go on in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. You can't give them shit for them, no man. Cesspool truck. Oh God, Andre, man, put the neck on the block and take it off. No, man, it's really cesspool truck, Jamaica. Andre, me not like no politician as of tonight. Me not like none. Mm -mm. The more me think about it, the more me. Remember, said the someone like no. students, like no students. The more me think about it, the more me crumble. Me see the cesspool truck come on my yeah, yeah, come yeah, take out yeah, the Andre, yeah, baby from birth where mother them a girl is shit water be drinking, Andre. Jesus. Andre, 
remember me, me, this man used to say, when a Jamaican, when I go until I go to shit for him, mm. and it come to pass. All right, no more no one thing about it. This worse than Ali soup. This worse than Ali soup. This the people of Jamaica need to top work and stand up on this. We no can I make the government that go no shit for them now. They no respect them. They no like them. Man, shitty government. Jesus. Shit, them a go no for them now. No, stop talking about it. My stomach can hurt me. Oh God, man, Andre, man, he can't. Andre, me see one lady a ball for water today, you know? mm -hmm. Do man, the lady a ball like one look a picky when you take a bit stick from her. Me want water, oh God, me want water. Mm. The lady look at the ball and I shit she a ball for. All right, don't and know, don't know, don't know. No, me not done. I shit them and give people them for your drink Jesus, and them now. man, don't know, man. No, they need to stop. Yo, Andrew, only it's the surf your nasty blood clot. All right, go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. Jesus. Hello, good night. Good night, Andre. Yes. Andre, I love you, you know. Why you love me now? I love you, but I like to be prime minister, man. Take care of me, I love me prime minister. But ladies, say, say you ever catch the shit water drink too? No, me have no water. I have one in my water. I have a river card done. Which part are you there? Wait, Molani. River card done. Bentor. Bill. 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 We are I like about the shit water and the woman I call because she not the politics we done with our prime minister. Hello? Hello, good night. Hello? Hello, good night. Yes, call her, good night. Hello, good night. Yes, call a good night. Honestly, I know I sat here and I was listening to you and you say yes, and until I hear about the cesspool truck, and it really, really reached me. You know, God, I'm a circle with Jamaican people. It really bad. It really bad. It really bad. Cesspool. Cesspool, Courtney. Imagine cesspool, cesspool truck that. Two giant truck. The people them pee and talk the cesspool pan the truck and 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 I run it as a truck now wet large. Mad. Hey, some I sickness are gonna run down at them place there, see? They are gonna run it now. Somebody call and try to justify it in some way. Dirty Matthew Samuda! You have cesspool truck, you and Christopher Tufton. Have cesspool truck around Pan Road. For water. All right, God bless you. Mm. Play the video. Producer, can play the video now, please. Move here and hear someone show where the water is. Mm -mm. Play, you can play it now for me, please. It ready now? All our second students. Where are you? Where are you? Students, this, this is us. Mm-mm. This is a serious matter. Says pool truck. Students you never hear this yet? Says pool truck. Hello, good night.
Hello, good night. Good night. Yes, caller, what you saying? Yeah, I was calling about the, the gentleman that was calling about the water from Westmoreland. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, he has a very, very good idea. Okay. I, I am actually, I am from the south, cent, southwestern St. Elizabeth. Mm -hmm. I grew up in Westmoreland where the most river in the island is in Westmoreland. Mm. And I just want him to realize that these rivers were there before him and I came in existence. The big body of water in Black River mm. was there before we came into existence. So why is it that just now, he's talking about eight years now, Sir, since we should have this system in place, it should have been there 20, 30 years ago. It, but the, the water distribution problem wasn't that bad now, sir. It's now the water distribution problem affecting down there. All right? Mm -hmm. Have a good night. Hello, good night. Hello. Yes, caller, good night. Andre. Yes. I want to send you some videos and pictures of the cesspool truck here. So you, you can show me video of the cesspool truck then? Yes, I can show you them when they pass. I will take a picture and give it. To Send me them, Carla. Send me them, all right? Yes, all right, Andre. Big up, Andre. Big up the same. Bless you, Carla. Bless you. I want yes. to the cesspool truck them for true. Hello, good night. Hi, good night. Yes, Carla. Mm. Andre, I called because I heard that gentleman from overseas was saying that the water thing should be in place 20 years ago. I want to tell him that I have attended a, a sitting mm -hmm. when when Bobby Pickers Gill was Minister of Water and uh, Ian Hales was the junior minister. Yes. Mm -hmm. And they outlined a very good plan, island wide, how to get water into pipes. Yes. It's still there. It's still there. And I'm wondering why this administration is not working with it. It's there to put water in all areas, beautifully planned. And I used to work at the Bullstrod NWC, and I know exactly how water is created and treated and yes. sent to the public it's not hard it's very easy as long as water is in a community meaning the river it yes. can be pumped to the area mm -hmm. treated and sent out in the pipeline so True. i don't understand what is so hard for this administration, administration. Mm -hmm. okay then you have a blessing. all right god bless you is the video ready now pardon me not you i asking my team if the video ready now it's privatized. Them want to privatize the water, you know, so that them friend and company and students are here that Juliet Olness is one of the biggest truckers of water in this country, you know. Somebody said it says pool truck. Them are going to come off of the, the road tonight. We now go see the says pool truck then. Student, thank you for all of the super chat and the zells tonight. You can send your Zell contribution. I did a good interview tonight. Support your teacher, man. Thank you, Nile Music. Thank you, Selector. Thank you, DAP2. Thank you, Tony and Organics. And, and Vendetta Empress. Thank you. I did a lovely job tonight. Didn't I do a good job with the interview tonight? And it's the first you're hearing success pool truck you never hear it nowhere else is on my program you hear about the cesspool truck then so run with that and screen record and put that out about the cesspool truck jamaica this government have cesspool trucks running up and down trucking water fifty thousand dollars a day fifty thousand dollars a day Mm -hmm. But we're going to get to the matter of this. I hope you enjoyed my interview tonight. And I'm happy to do these interviews because, you know, you will get. You will get the raw facts and the raw truth from my platform. I ask the questions that many people are unwilling to ask. Hello. Good night. 
Yes, sir. Talk up. Mm -hmm. Ask you a question. Want to Jamaica people then? The Jamaica yes, people yes. are awoke. They're taking them time to wake up, you know. Don't say warm to the Jamaica people. I can defend them and say them they're gradually taking them time waking up. All of them want worm out, man. They want worm out. Why them want worm out? Cause they might get shit water. Huh? Hmm. Okay. So that's what you're saying tonight. Hmm. Okay. You want better, you do better. You get the opportunity. You mm. do better, and you don't want no better. So, you know, we watch you every night. All right, Carla. Thank you for the call. All right. Bless you. Mm -hmm. Hello. Good night. Good night, Professor. Yes, my dear. When I sit back and I look at Andrew Legacy, you know what Andrew, this city government legacy mm. is? In broke bro down the hospital, so we yeah. don't have any hospital yes. where we can go if we get sick. Then bring in, they lock out the water, so we don't have no water to wash my hands. So if we even if we get sick, we had uh, apparently. Mm. So why they broke the hospital? <laughs> they end up at the mark eventually, but now they bring the shitty water to kill you. Mighty so, God. Mm -hmm. Shitty government. What about garage? Shitty government. government. Shitty government. I never hear this yet. Shitty government. Mm -mm. No, sir. Play the video now. Let me see what is happening. Show them the video because I want to show them. So we are on the Cabarita River. And I keep speaking about the Cabarita and its role in terms of West Mall and how important it is. So every single day on this river, over 50 to 20 million of water, over 50 to 20 million gallons of water is gone up to sea. Now, why is the Cabarita River so important to Westmore? Okay, so in the key days of the sugar factory, the sugar factory used to use, food sugar factory, used to use anywhere between 10 and 15 million gallons of water every day to wash clean and to run the factory. So there's no doubt that you can take the 15 million gallons from here or 20 million and it still don't affect the environment. Now, Roaring River that the government has planned to run 32 kilometers of pipeline into Negril and across the constituency cannot be enough to sufficiently supply Negril and the constituency. And the reason why is this. All, most of the water from the Roaring River goes up to Darlistan and surrounding communities. You have to take what you can from the Growing with origins around 8 to 9 million gallons a day, and you have to take the remainder from the Carburetor River. The water is here. And you know, at times, being spokesperson for the opposition on water, we somehow miss the, the low hanging fruits. The water is here. The people want the water in their lives. We can't afford any more in West Milan for our citizens to be carrying water on top of their head, riding it on a bike or a bicycle, or going to standpipe, or even getting a water bill, and there's no water. So there's no water that you're using. There's no consumption. So as I said before, this is an important river. And it's time now, time come for the government to start looking at Westmoreland in a holistic way and how we're going to deal with this. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Students, and I water that. Look for water. Mighty God. But students, let us reflect tonight that water is now a business rather than a basic right and a commodity. 
the labor rights have now found a way to make our money out of water. And it's wrong, Jamaica. It's wrong. This woman has been calling me. Hello, good night. Good night, Angie. Yes. You see a you see amount of water in a West Moland. Mm. Yes, I see it. You see a amount of water. Why the people are so wicked? Why are they doing that to the people, Jamaican people? I'm really not sure now. I'm really not sure. <laughs> Why may I tell you? I don't know what is going to happen to this country. If Jamaican people don't open their ear and see what is going on in this country, we're going to, I don't know what is going to happen to a little country. All right, Cola, thank you much for that. You hear? Okay. But it has now to seem, Jamaica, that water is now a business more than a commodity for the basic human. But that's where I'm leaving the program tonight, Jamaica. You can send me a message and let me know what's your take and your thought on tonight. But water is now big money business from 15 to 20,000 to 50,000 per truck. Cesspool trucks now carrying water. Can you believe that, Jamaica? And you have the minister saying in the next five years is when they're going to distribute the water. But I'm going to say to you all, Jamaica, Learn. Take, sleep, mark, debt. Take, sleep, mark, debt. Hello, good night. Good night, Professor. Yes, we're earlier, welcome. Mm. Earlier this week, the wicked man was on here speaking about how much parish have drought. Yes. And when he expect rain to fall, mm. like him is God. That wicked man. Let me tell you something. I don't know what a problem there in Jamaica, you see? And I just parish by parish in Madrid. You see, the local government slap the way and get in the face. Yes. Me I tell you, more they can come with that man plan to do to we Jamaican. Mm -mm. You hear me tell you? That man is a cancer, that man is a evil, wicked, devious, manipulative devil. May I tell you say, more they were dead, were left in our plan and his schemes. What my plan to do to Jamaica? And this is just a tip of the iceberg. May I tell you that? Mm. You see, in our last few months, yeah, may I tell you our judgment? May I tell you that? May I tell you that? May they love this man like how I love Jesus Christ. And may I tell you, I study the man and I know the man. And may I tell you, at the tip of the iceberg, is. you see, every single parish where well, well, they lose significantly you know yes. in our local government i beat him i beat and teach man i tell you and they have no care in our world them cares near them do business mm. they now go put nothing in place so people i think just go plan ways i mean oh to get rid of this man in a short order and this man i go sit down now and pray and beg god do to make some pandemic come or something for even the elections can push way back the kind mm -hmm. of one call it kind of one suffer with more because in one them in the one right things on the wall in one closing days in no at the end to the income of center mass and you stand up a, 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 a waterfall go to road and so and in my use center mass now as a new in new baby but in no one no matter when do in no one time come mm -mm. you hear me tell you? time come but me say people just have to be strong and jamaican people just need to get up get up get mm. up rise up speak up cesspool you understand? can you believe overcome a cesspool truck a collect water you can imagine me drive a life sometimes you pass me a town in a middle they have to cesspool truck a dry a dry mm. that's something there mm -mm. and i'm saying these things should be done on like sundays or night time mm. you understand you can imagine but me tell you, it's a greed of people you understand most people in a jamaica no love people you know jamaicans are really love the one another you know? True. and that's the reason why when you see the man then go up on the road even for patch road then patch your son and left one hole they so how can you do that when you take a stop and look at in a bush i used to then show the extra ma the extra car mm -hmm. in a bush and they stop there and then carry it back where they're coming from they don't love their country they're not patriotic towards country they don't love their country they 
to love them people. We don't love one another. Because there is no way me could have even a cesspool truck. And so I use a dry cesspool. And me could have thought, could have even come to me. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. But come and say, I'm not teaching at school. And then me could come and I'm not teaching at school. Because no time me to tell the people about do unto others. And then don't know them something. True. They don't know about the one to others. You wouldn't want somebody to give your parents or your husband or your wife or anybody to your water to drink or even if you even if you style it out of a smooth job, man. Mm-mm. What I'm saying, you see, this government is a no care government. And that is the reason why I turn my back on this government. This government is a push under the cap. As of nine years, I cannot catch nine years. Ses- but look, oh, so are you not hearing hear them something upon nationwide and You're not hearing it. You're not going to hear it. It's so evil. You not nah hear them it's something your pan nation. But who do you call call the labor rights station and talk about them something, yeah? Exactly. I look at the, the evil crucial some of them and say. Yes, because even these big companies when the end of the year come, just like when them get tax right off. They can get a right off. So he recommend them now then talk to the year and then don't stop here, yeah, man. Mm-mm. Call them someday. You understand? He hears people, Jamaica just messed up, man. Mm. Jamaica, God, me case and come, man. All right, I over. God, I me case and come. Mm. Good night, class. Bless you, my darling. Bless you, Hello, my darling. good night. Hello. Hello, good night, good night. Good night, caller. Good night, this is... Hello, good night. Hello. Hello, Andre. Yes, good night, caller. Sweetheart, some, some, some retirees, civil servant retirees, pension for March has still not yet been credited to their account, okay? An accountant general is not answering, okay? No, but you never hear, so I'll tell you what happened. Remember, say, um, Nigel Clark make blunder in the budget. So, you now not get no money from the, from until May. Yes, my love. You never hear about it. Me talk about it earlier in the show. Me think it was just from April and then you have May. So what people must do for March? So they don't know get the money till uh, May. Mm-hmm. You have to just hold brace and borrow some money from. You don't want no money to pay water, for buy water. You don't want no water in the pipe. And then you don't have no money now to buy food. So how people must live. Starvation. Cannibalism. And I am saying to you, based on the blunders that Nigel Clark made in the national <laughs> budget that had to go back to the parliament on Tuesday, there's going to be some delays in payments. Me think it was like across the border. Anyway, David, we appreciate your time. All right, my darling. God bless you. Mm-hmm. You too, on. Mm-hmm. Everything crash. <laughs> Everything crash, Jamaica. Everything crash. Everything crash. My final call for the night. Hello, good night. Hello, good night. Yes, caller. Yes, Miss Andre. Mm. I just want to say to you about it. It is why well, it is it's a sad situation for us here in Westmoreland. Oh yes. Let me say something to you. Mm. It is, it is not only about the water. What else? We have garbage problem also. Lord Jesus, right. nobody talk was, about it that. Was about, it was about a week before the, the local election took place in Westmoreland mm. that we had our garbage collected. And Andre, it wasn't until about a week before last week before our garbage was collected again. And I tell you, Andre, it's not the first time. Mr. Moreland Wilson is, is a member of parliament for the, the region that we live in. The co- Western. The, mm. All of Grange Hill Town mm. was in a mess for almost two months. Mm. For almost two months. It was not until sometime in last week. Mighty that God. That started to collect. A lot of garbage was all over Grange Hill. I don't know for Negro in extent and the other, but I know that there wasn't any garbage collected in the western side of Westmoreland. It was right after. Mm-mm. It was right. So yes, sir, as the election so come. I'm saying to myself, it's a sabotage. Boy. I realized it has been a sabotage because it was a week before the election and after election garbage that kill we here. Mm-mm. 
So garbage and no water. Color and must get to the dung there. We saw the truck then for true. It's a true. Cesspool truck is in Westmoreland. And we have a lot of rivers here. Cabarita, Mayfield rivers, and a lot of rivers all about no, the place. No, sir. Where we can get water from. So um, the man that was talking, he's not telling a lie. Mr. Hill's not telling a lie. You understand? So it's all about, this is a scamming business. I don't know what this government is up to. and But this is one... Um, I tell us when I, I'm talking, it just feels on my belly. It, 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 it's rough, you know. Osh, osh, osh. Go drink something. Like, me not go tell if you go drink some tea, and but... Babies, um, uh, Mr. Andre, we have our babies here. Drink, I'm going to drink from that water. Diarrhea and all these My things. Things. God. People is on the chair. People have to be on the chair in Sablamar Hospital. Mm -mm. I, have a, I have a friend that I know from when I was a child, and it's, for two months she has been on a chair in Westmoreland and until she died. Two months she's been on the wall. chair. Two months she don't hear. She have throat cancer and died down there. Mm -hmm. So if if this if you have an outbreak of diarrhea or gastroenteritis with the children and the the, the older folks and everybody, Lord Jesus, well, you just imagine if everybody have diarrhea and gastroenteritis in Western Westmoreland, what will happen to the people of Westmoreland when there's no hospital for them? No bed, nobody, no doctor, not care about nobody. Mm -mm. Like, right now, I don't, I, I ask God Almighty, I say, God, I beg you, no! Mm -mm. In you know, Jesus Christ, you know, make me sick because me rather stay me yard so don't go down to come wow. and me. That's how bad it, bad it is, me I tell us, me say, me I tell us, God, no. Right now, hospital is my last resort. I would never want to go down to that place if I'm sick. Uh -huh. I want to stay here and pray unto God for healing and cry out to God every day. But I tell us something, God has to do something about the situation and he will answer. The voice of God will thunder in Jamaica mm. because this prime minister have no love, no regard for his people. And if they can take a little from a circle because of this shit, all this now, you right anyway. Mm. It's just a chick they put on back because they're going to give us water, water that is just pool water, mm. just sewage water to drink. It's not better than put back a little a, a crab circle. I don't know the people who put on me next to this. Lord so Jesus! Like, this, outer, this, outer, this is outer. So you say, if Alisa, if Alisa, if Alisa cook this shit, I will not get the dirty shit. Lord Jesus. Eh? You can't imagine that? Mm -mm. Eh? Are there things gone now? No, sir. Like me not want. Me not even want to drink the water over there, so me I want there for shitty water. I said, them, them down here for true. I down here for true. A lot of chucks are down here chucking water. It's, it's the truth. They're not telling, I'm Mr. Eden Hayes is not telling any lies. All right, Carla, thank uh, you for that. Mm. Yes, God, uh, go with him. Bless you. Yes, yes. Why students, it really buddy? When me take me not even want to drink the water now, even though I something the water cold. I don't want to drink it. Me not take no more call tonight. Students, it really bad, man. Really bad, man. No, sir. Hi, Jesus. You know what I said, no? You know what I said to do? This look like Andrew Owens that try create. You know, like him want the people then depend on him. Like Savior Divine. Let me leave it alone for now. But God bless you all tonight, students. Students, send up one extend super chat, no? Send up. Send up one extend super chat, man. Send up an extend super chat. God bless you tonight. And see you. It's engineered, Nordy. It is an engineered thing. It's engineered. It's all orchestrated. But it was a pleasure being here tonight, Jamaica. My name is Andre Stevens. And this was the Andre Stevens Show. Until 8 p.m. tomorrow night. Walk good, stay blessed, and be good. Bye-bye, Jamaica. <laughs>